Okay, so question 24B, part of a past paper listed down below, and this will also be part of a playlist on my channel. Now we need to simplify fully y squared minus 3y in brackets times y squared plus 10y plus 21, all over y squared minus 9. Now we could times it all out and then kind of see what we can pull out from it and maybe cancel each other out. For me, I think the best approach as the one on the left is already kind of brackets, and if we see the two on the right, y squared plus 10y plus 21 and y squared minus 9. If you've done this before you might notice that they can actually factorize so we can have in brackets like x plus whatever times x plus whatever and I think if we try that hopefully we can cancel some of them out and then it's going to be a lot simpler. So as I just said let's try some factorization and see if anything cancels out. Now I want to do this one piece at a time. I'm going to split it into three components so the y squared minus 3y and then the y squared plus 10y plus 21 and the y squared minus 9. Now if we're factorizing y squared minus 3y, we can just take out a y, so that will give us y times y minus 3. And if we're factorizing y squared plus 10y plus 21, we put it in brackets like this. If you don't know how to factorize, there should be a video on my channel. And because it's all plus, we know it's going to be y plus and a y plus. And the key here is to have two numbers that multiply to make the end number. So they multiply to make 21 and they add to make 10. Why well, know 3 times 7 is 21 and then 3 plus 7 is 10. So that's going to give us y plus 3 and y plus 7. Now finally we can factorize the one at the bottom. Again we're going to have a y and y but it might not necessarily be two pluses because we've got a minus there so, so I'm thinking it will probably be a plus and a minus. Now we can see there is no y or like 3y or 10y and I think that's because in this case they cancel out. So I know we're going to have a plus 3 and a minus 3 because 9 you know what whatever you multiply you're going to have a 9 times 1 or a 3 times 3. If you have a 3 times 3 you could have a minus 3 and a plus 3 so that means minus 3y plus 3y they're going to cancel out and then it's going to be minus 3 times 3 going to leave us with minus 9 and obviously the y squared so that's that factorized and now from here we can extend the line a bit because it's it's all kind of below so you know if we have that y squared minus 9 that's also dividing the thing on the left we're just times in the things on the top and then dividing by what's on the bottom now in this case you can see quite obviously there's going to be some things that cancel out so you got a y plus 3 which quite easily cancels out and then you got a y minus 3 as well. Now once these cancel out we're not left with very much which is good because we want it simplified fully. We're left with y times y plus 7. Now you can leave that as your final answer. If you want you could times it out. I mean I guess they're both technically as simple as each other. I mean maybe y times y plus 7 is the more simple one because it's neater. You know you can give either answer and you're going to get the marks. So hopefully that was clear. Hopefully that made sense. Leave any questions below if not and best of luck with your maths.